This is a message directly to the activists of Just Stop Oil, Animal Rebellion, and the other ones that are um, going around London and around the UK trying to do direct action for the environment or for the, the bunnies. I was young once, I'm 42 now, so when I see uh, you guys blocking roads, getting all excited, jumping up and down in your late teens, early 20s, I do understand. I know what it's like to have a very strong ideology and feel like society and people and corporations and the public are not listening or they don't care or they don't care as much as you do. Now, somewhere you do have a point. Somewhere deep inside you, you are right. We do need to use less fossil fuels. We do need to kill less animals unnecessarily. But the way you're going about it is not right. I believe sincerely in my heart and my soul, in the depth of my psyche, that your actions in terms of blocking roads, preventing ambulances getting to hospital, preventing parents taking their babies to hospital for important appointments, throwing milk all over the floor so that minimum wage people will have to clear up what Tabitha, Victoria, Tarquin and Jeffrey did, spilling milk all over the floor. We know that the police are not going to make you clean that mess up. It will be the low-paid workers of Asda, Aldi, Tesco's, Morrison's and all the others. So, of course, the media as well is presenting you guys as a bunch of crazies, as a bunch of ideologically possessed little suckers of the satanic phallus. And that's their job. Their job is to get clicks. Their job is to create drama. Their job is to show the conflict. And as a YouTuber, I, I do that a lot as well. But I want to give you guys a warning, a very important warning. And this isn't a threat. This isn't a hypothetical, do this and I'll do that. No, this is fact. There is only so much the great British public can take in terms of tolerating um, ideologically possessed young people and not so young. I've seen a lot of middle-aged people, a lot of the elderly as well, wearing the Just Stop Oil. But there's only so much people can take before vigilantism uh, begins to take hold. The police cannot be there and also ever, anywhere else. Um, there are stories already coming out of police being unable to attend, you know, quite dangerous situations because some of you guys have decided to super glue yourselves to the road and sometimes emergency vehicles cannot get through. So there's going to be a situation where the public will have to choose. Do we rip this idiot's hand off the pavement and uh, take all the skin off their palms and, you know, send them straight to hospital so that a baby or an elderly patient can get to hospital? Or do we allow you to basically create a very polluting traffic jam, which goes against what you're about, and uh, do we let you win? And the answer is no. It's already started. I did a video about a week ago saying, when is it okay to punch an eco-warrior? And many of my commenters were saying, whoa, you're going to get banned off YouTube. Not only did I not get banned off YouTube, YouTube instantly monetized that video. They said that is kosher for advertising. So think about that. If you do block ambulances and fire engines and even police cars, which might be responding to a rape, to a murder, to a young damsel in distress, are you going to stop that? No. And just like my last video, it is perfectly reasonable. If it goes to court, the, the judges, the jury, all the barristers go, yep, that is reasonable. It is perfectly reasonable to use force against an ideologue that is preventing the movement of human beings. It's against the, uh, I think, what's it called? Obstruction of a public highway is a crime. And why is it a crime? Because no one in this country has the right to dictate what other people do with their day. Like if I went outside a, a, a supermarket, a, a shopping mall, a school, and I chained up the gates and said, nope, no one's allowed to go in. I believe that this shopping mall is evil. This school is evil. No, I don't have that right. It's not up to me. I can stand there with a megaphone and make my opinions very loudly heard. That's legal because people can walk past, they can listen, they can ignore it, but they can go about their day. But the way that you block traffic, you're going to get fucked up. Sorry for using swear, sweary words, naughty cuss words. I'm sorry, but you're going to get fucked up. There's, you know, so far it's been quite peaceful, 
But just imagine you have a dad or a mum with a, an ill baby in the back of the car, which has already happened. But let's just imagine the baby's a little bit more sick or it's in the back of an ambulance and it needs world-class surgeons to have a look at it, at him or her, and it can't get through. No jury in this country is going to send a dad to jail for hospitalizing two or three of you guys for blocking him getting his baby to, to hospital. Any reasonable person will say, well, given the circumstances, violence was the answer. It's always the case. And in terms of the destruction of priceless works of art, luckily the Van Gogh sunflower is one of seven. It's in galleries around the world. It was covered in glass. You didn't do any damage. But just the image of um, people with weird colored hair, you know, in the animal kingdom, super bright colors are a sign of toxicity so that other creatures know not to either touch, put their mouth on it, try and eat it, try and interact with it. For example, the poison dart frog of the Amazon forest. There's loads of them, blue ones, green ones, black and white ones, yellow ones. Some of the best ones are the, the black and yellow ones. Wow, crazy. And you guys with your pink hair, green hair, blue hair, you're the same. You are toxic ideologues and normal everyday people. I'm not a normal everyday guy. I'm talking about the normies. They're going to start fucking you up. They're going to start beating the shit out of you. And, and your response to the Home Secretary saying that you're not going to give up? Well, how are you going to block roads or destroy priceless works of art if you're all in jail? And you're all going to go to jail. And in jail, you can all sit together. You can, ideal, you can be as ideological to all the other prisoners. But trust me. They're going to be very fucked up. So ask yourself, you little trustafarian upper middle class twats, who are you to stop British people going from A to B? The answer, you're a nobody. You're nothing. Okay, I'm getting a bit dramatic here. You're a nobody. Let's not go down that route. You're a human being. You're not nothing. But you're nobody. You, you cannot take on 70 million people and expect to win. Deep down, we all know we could be nicer, we could be better, we could be more moral, we could use less oil, we could eat less animals. But when we have weird little neo-Bolsheviks, and that is what you are, you are of the same caliber of the scum that shot five children dead to ensure that there was no royal family. You are the same caliber as that. Because if babies die, if people die, can't get to hospital, if people miss weddings, miss flights, you don't know how important people's personal circumstances are to them. You don't want to be the baby killers, and you're very much on track to be the baby killers. And me and other people, we don't forgive. We're just going to come along and smack you in the face and drag you off the road. If you destroy a piece of art in front of me, it will be reasonable for me to smack you across the face and knock you out. I've been in Salford very long. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Think about it. Worry, worry that these ideologies, you know, they're not maybe the best. You know, it's very exciting feeling like you're some sort of Jason Bourne. You're a secret agent. No one else gets it. Only you get it. You've got to wake up the public. But no, we do get it. We got it from before you were born. You know, some of you 21-year-olds, I've been getting it for 30, 35 years since I was a little kid. Don't need someone to stop a sick baby getting to hospital for me to go, oh, maybe it took a dead baby for me to know about the environment. No. So let's just end it with, no, shut up and stop, or you're all going to go to jail.